people the next chapter which we are going to revise now is the chapter of exemption everyone let's go ahead and take a quick linking first of all we started learning gst with goods or service goods and service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate supply or intrastate supply interstate supply igst will be levied intrastate cgst will be levied once gst is levied gst has to be collected and paid by a taxable person now before a taxable person collects and pays he will have to see what he has gone ahead and done if it is falling in an exemption then gst need not be collected and paid exemption is given by the government by using the power under section number 11 of the cgst act and section number 6 of the igst act everyone over here exemption is with respect to goods also goods ka exemption is not applicable for your cf final exam services ka exemptions are applicable for you exemption is given by the government by using section number 11 ka power and section number 6 ka power under the igst act section number 11 has section number 11 one which goes ahead and gives the government the general power basically sir general exemption can be issued by the government by using the power under section number 11 one it says government in public interest on the recommendation of council can go ahead and exempt something generally from the absolutely either absolutely means completely without any condition or conditionally government can go ahead and exempt something from the whole of gst or part of gst and it will be with effect from a date which will be specified in the notification and for services government have gone ahead and issued notification number 12 bar 2017 central tax rate and for IGST services exemption has been issued by notification number 9 bar 2017 IGST rate ka notification. Are we clear everyone? Section number 11 subsection 2 goes ahead and gives special power to the government. Basically in special exemption can be issued. Special exemption can be issued by using power under section number 11. 2. Government on the recommendation of council can go ahead and issue a notification in by special order. In each case government under exceptional circumstances can exempt something from GST. Section number 11.3 goes ahead and gives the power to the government that government can go ahead. Government can go ahead and issue an explanation in the notification which is issued or notification or order which is issued by the government. If government insert one explanation within one year, that explanation will have retrospective effect. But if explanation is inserted after one year, it will have prospective effect. It will not have retrospective effect. Now there was a circular which went ahead and told supposingly one notification was issued but later one entry was inserted and for that entry any explanation is inserted that explanation will be valid from the date of the entry ka insertion and not from the original notification ka date are we clear everyone yes sir we got it then we have the first first exemption which we are going to start off with is charitable and religious activities charitable and religious activities may baba for your number 22 there is no amendment which is there right everyone now charitable and re religious activity first of all we'll go ahead and talk about an entity which is registered under section number 12 a or 12 ab of the income tax act so for an example there is an entity which is registered under 12 a or 12 ab of the income tax act with respect to income ka exemption when they are going ahead and doing any charitable activity, that charitable activity pay GST will not come, but that charitable activity has to be that, that activity which is already defined in the notification. They have gone ahead and told if there is an entity which is registered under 12 AA and doing charitable activity which is relating to PAPI activities. Yes, everyone. So, number one is public health. A for advancement of religion, spirituality and yoga. P for preservation of environment, watershed forest and wildlife e for educational program and skill development program sir if there is a charitable institution providing charitable activity which is relating to public health by way of care or counseling if you are going ahead and doing care or counseling of terminally ill person severely physically severely physical or mentally disabled there is a bird disabled person or if you are going ahead and doing care and counseling of HIV or AIDS infected person or drug or alcoholic 
alcohol addict person government is going ahead and telling all these terminally ill people drug addicts alcohol addicts all these are people who are about to go so government is going Baba, drug addict, alcohol addict, if you do all this thing, correct? No. So, government is going ahead and telling terminally ill people, all these people ka case mein, government went ahead and told, we will not go ahead and charge any GST, mean charitable organization doing a charitable activity by taking care and, by doing care and counseling of terminally ill people, severely physical or mentally disabled people or HIV AIDS infected or drug addicts, government is going ahead and telling, there will be no GST on that care and counseling ka service. If there is a charitable activity which is done by charitable institution which is registered under 12AA or AB of the Income Tax Act by going ahead and doing public awareness about preventive health, family planning, prevention of HIV infection, then then they, their activity by GST will not come. Again, there is a charitable institution doing charitable activity by going, going ahead and doing advancement of religion, spirituality and yoga. So, there is a charitable institution going ahead and doing charitable activity. They are going ahead and organizing yoga programs. Baba, that is a charitable activity and government is going ahead and telling whatever amount you go ahead and charge, don't charge any GST. Then, Baba, there is a charitable institution doing charitable activity which is advancement of educational program or skill development program and it is relating to what abandoned orphan homeless children physically mentally abused or traumatized person or prisoners or person greater than 65 residing in rural 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 area then government is selling that educational program or skill development program which is done by the charitable institution is a charitable activity and gst will not come then sir if there is a charitable institution doing charitable activity which is sir preservation of environment watershed forest or wildlife then gst will not come on that activity also you have to go ahead and remember P activities p for public health by way of care or counseling or public awareness sir a for advancement of religion spirituality and yoga p for preservation of wildlife forest, environment, etc. E for educational program and skill development program. Done everyone. Then, if there is a charitable institution doing charitable activity, which is basically running an old age home, and running a old age home, first of all, the old age home has to be for resident, greater than, equal to 60 years. Secondly, the consideration should be up to 25,000 per month per member. So, supposingly one person has gone ahead and put his uh, parents in a orphanage or not an orphanage an old age home and old age home is charging up to 25,000 then no GST more than 25,000 complete amount per GST will come sir for father and mother it is then 50,000 is the exemption because 25,000 plus 25,000 because 25,000 is per person done everyone and why is the uh, old age home charging it is charging for boarding lodging and maintenance of the person note one note is also given if the old age home is run by a charitable institution which is registered under 12 a or ab then the exemption is there but if it is run by the central government or state government run by the central government or state government and they are also charging up to 25000 per month per member then the exemption will apply to the government run old age home also done everyone the next one over here is if there is an entity which is registered under 12 aa or ab of the income tax act or there is a trust or institution under 1023 c5 of the income tax act or there is a body or authority under 1023 bba of the income tax act and they are going ahead and doing what renting of Precincts of a religious place meant for general public, basically temple, gurudwara, etc. May whatever premises are there in that premises, room rent is being given. Then up to nine nine nine, it is exempt. Nine 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 per day, if it is charged, it will be exempt. Temple may there is thousand. Uh, temp, you went to the temple, they told thousand rupees. Remember, hundi is there. Put one rupee in the hundi. Give them nine nine nine. It shall be exempted. Sir, you went to the temple, you told I want to get married, they told you 10,000 rupees, you put 1 rupee in the hundi, 999 per day. Baba, marriage is not for month, it is per day. If they are going ahead and charging you per day ke liye 9999, then it will be exempted. You went to the temple and you told I want to put one shop for sweets and garland etc. They are going ahead and telling, okay, we will charge you 10,000, you tell them 1 rupee I will put in the hundi, 9999 will be exempted right everyone so room rent up to 999999 per day premises or km km is not kilometer kilometer nahi baba kalyan mandapam up to 9999 per day is exempt shop 
rent up to 9999 per month is exempted note always 999 and 9999 9 is exempted in case of religious premises ka precincts when they are renting out right everyone now always remember one thing conduct of religious ceremony is also exempted so if there is a temple trust which is there and they are going ahead and conducting any religious ceremony pandit ji will come pandit ji ka services are there all this services pay gst will not come clear everyone remember one thing in case of temple it is 999 which is exempt but in case of hotel renting of hotel in etc may value of supply up to 1000 is exempted because in case of hotel etc hundi is not there so government told okay full 1000 rupees only we are going ahead and exempting if there is a hostel which is there hotel or hostel both ka case mein it is how much 1000 rupees per day which has been exempted Are we clear, everyone? I have gone ahead and told you hotel over here just for a linking. Now, if there is an entity which is registered under 12 AA or AB of the Income Tax Act, and they are going ahead and providing what training or coaching in recreational activity relating to sports, then Baba, there will be an exemption which is given. Also, remember, if there is training or coaching in recreational activity relating to art or culture. given by an entity registered under 12 aa or by any other person then also it will be exempted but recreational activity ka coaching if given by if given in respect of sports then by any other person it is not exempt it is taxable only by an entity which is registered under 12 aa or ab if they are giving recreational activity relating to art or culture related training then it is exempted right everyone but recreational activity relating to sorry relating to sports only by entity registered under 12 aa or ab is exempt relating to art and culture by anyone it will be under exemption now if there is an entity registered under 12 aa or ab of the income tax act and there one rehabilitation professional is providing the service his services also will be exempted what does a rehabilitation professional do rehabilitation professional one person has become drug addict alcohol addict they will be taken to rehabilitation center where rehabilitation professionals are there who will go ahead and give him rehabilitation ka Uh, therapy counseling etc he will do he will go ahead and do rehabilitation therapy counseling baba they are not doctors but they are like doctors only and hence government went ahead and told rehabilitation professional going ahead and providing services by way of rehabilitation therapy counseling at medical establishment educational institution or at rehabilitation center set up by the central government state government union territory baba local authority is not written be very careful or at an entity registered under 12 aa or ab of the income tax act then this rehabilitation professional ka services at such medical establishment at such educational institution or at such rehabilitation center which is set up by the central government state government union territory or at an entity which is registered under 12 aa their services will be exempted done everyone now government went ahead and told some religious pilgrimages also will go ahead and exempt government went ahead and told if there is k m b n l kumau mandal kumau mandal vikas nigam limited h is not there vikas nigam limited they are going ahead and organizing kailas mansarovar yatra baba kailas mansarovar yatra is a yatra which is done by the hindus government went ahead and told when k m b n l is organizing kailas mansarovar yatra there will be no gst now for the muslims government went ahead and told hajj committee is organizing hajj then baba on that also whatever charges are taken there will be no gst if i was an examiner i would have gone ahead and told you kmvnl is organizing uttarakhand ka trip baba be very careful about it it is taxable i will go ahead and say ramesh soni classes organized kailas mansarovar yatra baba it will be taxable only kmv kmvnl doing kailas mansarovar yatra is exempt Hajj committee doing Hajj is exempt, right, everyone? Yes, sir. Point is clear. Now, on the left hand side, we have over here that GST on residential program or camp. Now, there is a yoga camp which is there. You went to the yoga camp. They gave you yoga was principal. They gave you food and uh, staying ke liye accommodation also. Now, food and accommodation is taxable, but yoga is exempted. And hence, because the principal supply over here was yoga, the entire supply will become. exempted so they are telling if primary and predominant objective and purpose is advancement of 
religion, spirituality and yoga, then it shall be exempted. Are we clear everyone? What shall be exempted? The entire supply shall be exempted. Secondly, if supposingly there is one charitable institution or religious trust and they are going ahead and merely providing accommodation to people or they are providing food and drinks against consideration. They are telling, come, 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 eat and go. Give 100 rupees ka donation and go. Government told, sir, selling food against donation also is taxable. Are we clear, everyone? The next one over here is, sir, activities such as holding fitness camp, classes, aerobics, dance, music. Government is selling. All this pay, I never went ahead and gave any exemption. Aerobics class, dance class, all these are always taxable. Right, everyone? I went ahead and told you about charitable institution. Number one, charitable institution which is registered under 12 AA or AB of the Income Tax Act. Going ahead and doing charitable activity, papi activity shall be exempted. They are running an old age home up to 25,000 per month per member. Resident greater than equal to 60 years ke liye. Then it will be exempted. If they are going ahead and doing charitable institution is there and they are renting the precincts 999, 9999 per month or per day shall be exempted and then Baba they are going ahead and doing recreational activity relating to sports may training then it shall be exempted entity registered under 12 AA or AB may if rehabilitation professional is providing service his services are also exempted KMVNL going ahead and doing Kailas Mansur Yatra Hajj committee doing Hajj Yatra is also exempted I will close my discussion on the charitable activity ka exemption over here everyone